<laughs> Holy cow. So this is a decent looking steering wheel. This truck's a 2017. It's a company truck. I'm gonna show you guys what I think I would do if I owned this pickup, and I don't, but I'm gonna go ahead and protect this steering wheel so this doesn't happen. Now this is my personal pickup. This thing's uh, 21 years old, 22 years old, effectively this year. See that? You clean your steering wheel enough, even if it's protected, sun damage, and this thing sits out all the time. Uh, this will happen to your steering wheel. So you can do a couple of things, a towel, a cover, or protect it. So I'm gonna show you what I think, actually what I know will help, help, it will help you, it will help you delay that deterioration. This will be a pretty quick and to the point video. Hopefully you have good angles on this. Don't want my fat butt talks in the way, but I gotta get in the truck, so, in the pickup. How am I gonna do this? I think I'm gonna move the camera back to position when I get in, so, here we go. All right, everybody. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys can see that steering wheel pretty good. I hope. I will watch the video. Hopefully this is center stage. <laughs> we hope. Anyway, uh, get some towels down on your dash for your instrument cluster. Get one down on your legs, even if you're wearing pants. I'm gonna use an APC, a scrub pad, um, a brush, a towel. What else do we have in here? A magic eraser you can use. There's all kinds of things you can use to clean. You can try water at first. Water will work as long as it's not too dirty. A couple spritz with uh, Simple Green. Let's just try this real quick. With a uh, Mr. Clean scrub pad. That's pretty clean, actually. Wipe it off. That's one way to do it. Another way would be to spray down a brush. Kind of get in here do this and get down in the crevices which is kind of annoying in a way because you can't get a good angle on the steering wheel but you can get in here and clean away there's threads in here right really cool looking steering wheel these new modern steering wheels are great blah 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 anyway wipe it off yeah this is pretty clean actually but the easiest way to get in there and get around that contour of the steering wheel is like this. Get your scrub pad. This is a Scrub Ninja Star Scrubber from Auto Fiber. Couple spritz of uh, Simple Green. My preferred cleaner. It's uh, not harmful, easy to get, not harsh if mixed properly, and it doesn't smell bad. I like it. Been around in my family for years. My family, all sides and all people of my family use Simple Green at one time or another in their life, and I've just come to like it. It's easy to get and cost effective and uh, I'm used to it. So some people will, will peel this back and say Simple Green's not an interior cleaner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But guess what? It's an APC. It does the trick. Yeah, and this steering wheel is pretty good. It's pretty clean. So we're doing this at the right time. There's no real degradation of the cover. It appears to be in really good shape actually. So it's a perfect time to do this before it gets too bad, right? It's been in the sun for four years without protection on it. So perfect timing. Anyway, that's that on the cleaning part. Let it sit a minute. Then I'll break out an interior coating. This is Adam's ceramic interior coating. Uh, it's for leather and vinyl. So this works on this. It kind of smells like mothballs. Put some on your applicator of choice, whatever that may be. Just apply it all around, let it dwell a minute or so, and buff it off. And this should protect it and keep it from that god-awful degradation you saw on mine. At least in theory it should. I've never had this on a steering wheel or any vinyl or leather long enough to know. I've only used a coating twice, and the coating that's on my wife's car on the interior held up fine. Her leather looks, or I mean, her vinyl and trim pieces look fantastic, and it's been a little over two years. So, looks great, actually. I think 
this is a plus and a must do on any new vehicle. Do it before you get too much wear into the car though. Trust me. All right, I'm gonna let that dwell. I don't even remember what it, it recommends the dwell time be. And if you could read this, good luck there. I'd have to go get a magnifying glass. I'm uh, 50 and that's writing for about a, a teeny bopper, you know, 15 to 19, somewhere in there. I, I can't read that. <clears throat> A little bit cold out so the dwell time may vary a little bit and this should be safe on any interior plastic vinyl trim leather anything like that um, but always do a test spot if you think it might harm it do a test spot first don't assume that it's good for it and then ruin something that's never a good policy bring you in real quick here let's see can't really see too much I got a bad glare on the screen but you can see some of the steering wheel looks matte and some looks gloss so I'm gonna start buffing off kind of slowly where the matte the matte parts are that looks like it's kind of dwelled long enough the shiny parts to me feel like still a little bit maybe care time needed there so and this doesn't take like strength or anything I'm just gonna lightly buff it Easy lemon peasy, baby. Just like that. And it looks fantastic. And it should add protection. How many years of protection? I think this is a two-year interior coating, I think. Look it up on adamspolishes.com or uh, ask somebody on Instagram at adamspolishes. They'll let you know right away. They know their product line. I love Adam's stuff, but I haven't used this coating in a couple years. So, anyway, that's that, people. That's how easy it is to protect and hopefully extend the life of your steering wheel so you can keep it looking like this. And prevent this. That looks terrible. So maybe one day I'll replace that steering wheel and I will protect it right away. Probably by the time I get it home, I'll clean it up and put the protection on it. And that'll be that. So thanks for watching. Any um, requests on videos or reviews that you guys want, anybody out there want me to check out a, a product, tell you what I think about it, send it my way, uh, like it, dislike it, subscribe, get notifications. Thanks for following, guys. <clears throat> if you have any questions or anything you want to ask uh, about a specific product, if I have it, I will answer your question. DM me at 2 it on Instagram and follow me on YouTube channel detail it. Take care and see you next week.